Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Saturday in the shop. Uh, we got a little bit of a different deal going on today. Um, we picked up a new Bridgeport milling machine to replace our old Pearson machine. Um, the old Pearson has just, it was old and worn out when I got it about 16 years ago, and I've kind of spent some time here and there fixing it and patching it together and just getting it to getting it to get the jobs done that we needed to get done but it was really time for us to get an upgrade um, so we picked up a really really nice um, bridge port uh, you'll see it here in a little while just super clean um, it came out of a, a job shop that's doing much more CNC work now these days they had a line of I think about a dozen manual mills but they are just clearing out some of the stuff they weren't using anymore and uh, we were lucky enough to find it because finding a good clean bridge port down here um, is not always very easy contemplated buying a new mill but they're all these import mills and the quality is sometimes suspect so really happy to have a, a real bridge port um, that will last uh, the rest of my lifetime and probably everybody else's lifetime who has it after me provided it's well cared for and all the parts are still available for it to make repairs and service and all that kind of stuff so really really pumped to have this so the plan today is we've got to get the old Pearson mill out of its position and then bring the new mill in um, I, I gave the old mill to a uh, local guy that's got a shop kind of near us that didn't have a mill at all so um, it'll still continue on in life um, you know and he'll be able to spend some time getting it getting it cleaned up and probably getting it working a little better than it's working now for him and you know hopefully that'll get passed down to somebody else down the road too and you know I hate to let these old machines go to scrap so I was glad he wanted to take it so um, we'll get that loaded in the truck I'm gonna go take it over to him in the morning so but um, that's the plan for today I don't know how long it's gonna take hopefully it goes pretty smoothly and uh, we'll have the machine in and fired up and running before the end of the day so that is the plan um, just waiting for everybody to get here it's a multi-person job obviously and uh, we're gonna have to move a move a bunch of stuff around, get some electrical unhooked, and we gotta strip all the stuff off of the mill, our tie down clamp holder and collet mount and all that stuff. So anyway, that's uh, that's the plan for today. Really pumped on it, and uh, we're gonna get out there and get to work. All right, guys. So we got our old Pearson mill here, getting everything broken down. I've had this mill got 16 years served me well but uh time for an upgrade so we're gonna get this thing broken down moved out of here and then bring the new machine in for that long. yeah oh. <laughs> i almost died getting this machine too because i had no money yeah. i had no forklift i had like i already took my yesterday so. oh. yeah the guy i bought it from had a like a shitty old bobcat that was like barely lifting it, and, and I mean it was. That first lathe, too, the one that we that was here, and then we got rid of. I bought it at Harbor Freight, and they loaded it with a forklift. Oh, you had to get it off the truck. So I back, I cleared out the whole shop. This was I was in the little shop in Wellington, and I backed the truck in, and we set the stand up and put it under the tailgate and tied the machine to the fucking wall and I drove the truck out and like drug it out until it would tilt and it like yeah I mean got lucky there okay. yeah I mean I just I oh okay well, I'll just stack all this shit up then because I want to try and get that all like back to yeah <laughs> Um, but yeah, I you know, I, I needed the shit and I. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it on the record. So we got the mill wired up and in position, and now it's just time to install some uh, accessory stuff. Right now I'm drilling the base for our collet rack, same collet rack we had on our other machine. So quick couple holes, quarter 20 tap. Um, cast iron base drills and taps real nice. Um, it's not hard and uh, so easy to drill. And tap, and then we'll go ahead and get our collet rack bolted on. A couple quarter twenty screws, simple stuff. On the other side, which you won't be able to see as well, but we have our uh, our tie down clamp kit. Same thing, couple quarter inch holes, drill and tap, and get those bolted on. This mill came with a two axis DRO. Um, I had a three axis on the other machine. The DRO on this machine is a real super high quality one. So I didn't want to lose that, but I also didn't want to lose my third axis DRO. So we decided to just drill the mount that holds the current DRO, install our old DRO screen, and install the glass scale, which we'll do here coming up in a little while, to give us our Z digital readout. So we just have two screens, not really too big of a deal. Um, I had all this stuff, so it wasn't hard to do and um, keeps us with all the features we're used to having on our other mill uh, while having a much nicer mill. So it worked out well. So next up, we're going to install the scale for the Z-axis, which is the raising and lowering of the knee, the table that the vise and all the other accessories bolt to. So um you can see it laying on the table right there to the left of my shoulder. These are pretty easy to install. Again, um, five millimeter screws hold these on. So drill a couple holes, tap some five millimeter threads, bolt that on. And then on the, uh, as far as the scale part that actually slides up and down, a uh, little piece of angle aluminum bolts to the scale. And then again, drill a hole, tap it. Um, I think I did a quarter 20 on that just because that was the size of the slot and the piece of aluminum that came with the scale. Bolt that all up and uh, we got a digital readout on our Z-axis. Yeah, or uh, or like uh, I don't know. Is that the best ones? It's like vintage and you know, most quality. Probably. Is it? Yeah. So yeah, that's exactly. I was wondering if it's like a or like a Sailor Jerry. Yeah, Sailor Jerry. That's what I. Was, yeah, his machines are are real nice. Or do people just want them because they're Sailor Jerry? Some people because of the Sailor Jerry. Most people because of them. Yeah. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. Super pumped. We got our mill in. It's wired. Everything's hooked up. Um, we added a Z axis digital readout. And um, 
We're ready to start making some chips. I got a few other upgraded parts coming for this still. Uh, we got a power feed for the knee coming. We got a power draw bar. And um, I'm, I haven't ordered it yet. I'm still looking and trying to decide what I want, but we're gonna have a, a Quill DRO as well. So trying to get this thing fully set up so we don't have any, um, any um, shortcomings in it when we're trying to make all kinds of different stuff. So anyway, um, great day overall. Appreciate you guys spending a little bit of time with us, and we hope to see you next time at Gaddy's Garage.